Hello, Tim here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the shaving horse, and I briefly alluded to it in my shop tour talk. I pointed to it before. Um, I said I'd talk about it in a future video, and that's this one here. So, this is also referred to as a schnitzelbank in, in German, and if you want to go to YouTube and Google that word, you'll find a song that's a German folk song about schnitzelbank, and I can't speak it, I can't sing it, so uh, that's what I refer to this as, it, which in German means shaving horse or shaving bench. I think bonk is bench in German, as far as I know. But this, uh, this particular one here, I bought it in an antique store uh, a number of years ago, and I was kind of taken by it because it was, it's, it's rustic, it's made out of big solid oak timber here, there's a half timber on this, uh, um, the, 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 the base of it where the legs are fitted into. And the whole purpose of this bench is very simple, just a, a way to hold your workpiece, whatever you're making. And these were used by uh, people making barrels, they're called coopers, uh, people that made axe handles or, or any long implement. Uh, maybe uh, walking sticks or something like that, or people making uh, uh, shaving uh, uh, shakes or something like that. Uh, anything you had to use on this here was either uh, start with a draw knife or a spoke, spoke shave. And that would be another thing, like a uh, wheel right, someone that would make wagon wheels would uh, shave down their, their spokes. And I've used this when I've made chair spindles and such. Uh, this is my draw knife made by Marples. I made a, a little uh, scabbard little thing to hold it to protect myself from when I transport it. So let me uh, sit down here. All I'm doing is, is uh, this is adjustable. Got different hole positions here. And there's different hole positions where I can pull this out and raise it up if I had a thicker piece of wood or a smaller piece. And just by leverage, pushing my foot on the on the pedal down there, it holds it tight enough. This is a piece of black locust. Then you can reposition it. And it makes pretty quick work out of stripping bark, which is a uh, very common use of this. Say you want to make canoe paddles or other implements, poles. Now safety is always a concern, but if you if you're using it right, you're not going to pull it back far enough to cut yourself. So then you just turn it around until you get it to the right size. And uh, finish it up. So that's what the shaving horse does. And that's all there is to it. And uh, if you find one, they're not probably too hard to make, but this one is an antique one and I like taking it with me when I demonstrate woodworking outside. And it's, a, it's pretty much an outside tool. That's all I've ever used it for, although I don't keep it out in the elements. So that's it for the schnitzel bunk. Thanks for watching, and please comment below if you have uh, questions or find it interesting. And uh, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you would, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.